With there being so many different Android TV boxes on the market currently, it's really, really hard to decide on which one you should get and not be disappointed. Well, the ColorViewer C1 Plus is an Android TV box that you don't need to worry about because it has all of the features, it has everything, and is definitely not slow. And it's not that expensive as well, going for around 1,400 Rand for here in South Africa. Now inside the box, you do get the TV box itself. You get the remote with two triple a batteries, the 12 volt one amp power adapter, and a HDMI cable. So then the C01 does come with a compact puck size shape design and also the white matte finish that does give it a nice sleek and clean look. Now in terms of connectivity, on the right side you have a USB 3 type A port and an SD card slot for some additional storage options. At the back of the TV box you do get your SPDIF out port, your AV port, your HDMI 2.1 port and also your 10 over 100 megabit per second Ethernet ports. Plus, it does also, of course, feature dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1. Now, specs-wise, it's pretty decent with an quad-core 2 gigahertz CPU, the Mali G31 MP2 GPU, 2 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, 8 gigs of internal storage, and then finally, it does run Android 10. Now, setting up the ColorView C1 Plus, it's a breeze. Uh, just sign into your Google account if you want to do everything manually, or you can just use your phone to log in and just like that is everything is going to be set up. Now like most Android TV boxes, it does support streaming apps like Netflix, Showmax, YouTube, DSTV Now, Disney Plus and Apple TV and pretty much every mainstream streaming service that you can actually get that does have an Android app. But for those of you who want to tinker around a bit more, of course you can also go download a Plex and set up your own server or you can connect to one of your friends servers where you can watch some of their massive anime collections. Uh, so you do you have that as an option as well. Now the only downside that I found with the C1 so far is that it only has a 100 megabits per second ethernet port which might be a bit slow if you want to go all out, uh, set up your own custom NAS and all of that, 10 gigabits and everything, but honestly for majority of people that's definitely not going to be a problem. Now because it does run Android, of course you can go play some games. But depending on the game, you might experience some lag, especially for some of the higher graphic games. It's good enough, but it's not the most powerful GPU that you actually get. So just keep that in mind. But if you just want to play some casual games like Subway Surfer or Candy Crush or whatever, uh, it will be able to handle that. I would just recommend maybe getting like a gamepad to add, especially if you want to play some racing games or something, that'll definitely come in handy because trying to play that with the remote it's not the best experience. But if you want to have a better experience, all you need to do is cast your phone's screen to the TV box because it does feature a Google Cast, and you can play games like that and still have all of the controls for your gyro and everything and also watch content. Now navigating the interface, there is an ever so slight delay and I'm definitely nitpicking here, but it's worth mentioning, but I have definitely experienced much worse latency on some other TV boxes. So for majority of us, I honestly don't think that's gonna be a problem. And also with it being a Google certified, you do know that everything is just going to work, unlike some of the other cheaper Chinese versions where just stuff fails and you don't get updates and stuff like that. Now as for the remote, it does feel pretty nice in your hand and it doesn't weigh a lot as well. The battery is the majority of the weight. It also does come with all of the needed buttons and actually a few extras as well. You have your volume, your channels, your mute, your home button, your source select, your power button, all of that settings. All of the buttons do have a solid actuation point and just the right amount of pressure needed to not accidentally press the wrong button. The extra buttons that you get do include shortcuts to YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and then also Google Play Store. I'm not exactly sure why the Google Play Store, I don't think you're necessarily going to need that that quickly, <laughs> uh, but YouTube, Netflix, and uh, Amazon Prime, I think that is definitely handy. And then finally, you do also have a Google Assistant button, which does make just searching so much easier. Just make sure that you speak clearly into the microphone, which is also up here on the remote. And that's definitely the case if you do have a very thick Afrikaans accent. Yeah, Google hasn't adapted to the very thick Afrikaans accent just yet. Maybe later on they will. However, with the Bluetooth and USB connections, you can connect a mouse 
mouse and a keyboard or another controller like one of those full-size keypads which is actually really handy if you want to quickly search something but of course that is an additional accessory that you will need to go buy separately but you do have that option now speaking of the usb port you can also connect an external hard drive for ssd to watch external content on and not use up any of the internal limited storage also because it's usb 3 instead of 2 like some of the other android tv boxes as well uh, there's not going to be the bandwidth limitation so if you want to watch a 4k high bitrate movie hdr and all of that it shouldn't be a problem so then in the end this is a really handy device especially if you don't currently own a smart TV. You have some TVs that do have smart features, but honestly, it's not that smart. <laughs> they, it still needs to be schooled, but that, luckily that's just where you get the color view where it turns your TV entirely smart with all of your Android apps and everything. So it's really, really handy. And also because it's not slow, you're not going to have to worry about a crazy amount of lag trying to skip through anything. You're not going to have to worry about that. The CPU and GPU is powerful enough to handle all of the encoding and decoding. So that definitely is a plus now of course there are again so many different options that you can get also some of them in the same price range but just from me using it say that you won't be disappointed especially at the 1400 rand it's gonna do everything that you would really need and i'm definitely going to use it on my parents tv because yeah it's, it's not a smart tv so they're really going to have some fun with it but now that's pretty much it for my look at the color view c1 plus a 4k android tv box if you guys want to get it for yourself i will leave links in the video description if you liked this review, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. I'll check all of you guys next time. Cheers, guys.